Hi, today I'm going to show you how the Zohu CIM webhooks work. In December 2011, Zohu CIM added a new feature called webhooks. Uh, webhooks help you to communicate with your third-party applications by sending instant web notifications every time when an event occurs in Zohu CRM. That means anytime you update, you add, you modify your Zohu CRM data, this kind of action uh, can be sent to your Zohu, to your website, for example, your website server, and can carry those information to your website server. Your website server can um, do some calculation or, or manipulate the data and uh, save to your website database or even you can send those um, updated modified data back to your Zohu CRM. Uh, first let me explain uh, you one thing. Let's say if I go to my website and if I click any any demo, uh, let's say this is the demo, uh, I want to let you see is this one. So this is my website. This is uh, the website. Uh, there is a web page. Inside this page, there is a fun there is a, a couple of functions, and this is important. Demo ID equal nine. So once this information is sent to my uh, website database to this page, and the function will get this number. Based on this number, it will go to the database to get uh, this control to show on the web page. Okay, before I sh uh, show you how the webhox works, let me show you a, a demo first. So, I want to get the total hours between those difference, add those difference, add those difference. So, three sets of the uh, um, hours difference. So, right now it's zero because those are all the set. This set is same, this set is same, this set is same. So let me go into change to 2 hour, 2 a.m. So if I save this, so you can see there is a one hour difference. Uh, let's change the third one. I will say this is a two hours difference. So this one, no, no change. So it should be one plus two equals three. This one should be three. Um, so in fact, once I selected and updated this, the webhook already uh, worked worked and send those data back to my website uh, server and do the calculation and send back to your Zohu CIM database already. Uh, you cannot see right now because uh, you need to refresh your page and go to your CIM database to get that data. So I'm doing it right now. I will uh, refresh my page and I will back to this one. So it's become three. Yep, this is the uh, uh, simple uh, uh, demo. You can imagine you if you have a, a different type of text field or drop down, or uh, you have a lot of fields in the Zohu CRM, it just cannot be done. So you can think this way uh, to send the data back to your website server and do the calculation and send back, populate those data you want. Okay, let's go to the setup and uh, go to the automation. And there is a web hook. And this is the existing one uh, we are we are using right now for the testing purpose. Okay, so you create your name, web hook name, and the URL to notify. Uh, right now is my uh, company website, and this is the PHP. Oops, I think I messed up. Okay, this is the PHP. So this behavior is, is exactly like I explained here, exactly the same. So the ID and the demo equal ID. This is the, what they are looking for. So, okay, now this is the method is post. That means you will post the data to your uh, website. And uh, the module is case. I'm using case module. Those are all the values you want to pass and send to your website. So you can select uh, from your case module any uh, field name. You can select it in the module, also the mo module name. 
and also here the parameters in user defined format uh, this this is the area sometimes your your website are expecting a some kind of well formatted data they uh, sometimes they don't like this kind of uh, format which is generated based on this area so let's say start one equal this value uh, they, they are looking for is well formatted XML or JSON uh, uh, format let me show you what it looks like Okay, here it is. This is from uh, the Husia uh, um, uh, help profile. So this is the string or the XML format. Uh, you can define this. So once those uh, uh, well formatted data sent to your website, your website can uh, recognize and interpret it and get those values inside. Okay, back to here. This is the append custom parameter. You can uh, define any any kind of a parameter and a value. Let's say test the value you want is uh, uh, anything. Let's say 1001. Some reason you want this value passed to the website. Uh, so let's refresh it. You can see this is value is add. So once those those string crazy string long string. Uh, let's say for example here and send it to your website the, well, your website will recognize this and do the calculation and send the uh, the right value back to your Zohu CRM well sometimes you don't need to send it to the, your Zohu CRM sometimes you only just want to update your your website database because maybe your website database uh, synchronized with your uh, Zohu CRM Okay, after this webhook is created, then you can define our rules. And uh, so you, you can tell uh, the uh, Zoho CIM in what situation this webhook will be executed. So right now I have a one, it's called case total time update. So uh, you can define, because this is in the case module, you can say every time when a new case is created or one existing case modified then this webhook function will be executed that's all thank you bye